are some defenses and escapes from the turtle position. This can be a very frustrating position when you find yourself in, especially in an MMA fight. It can be a very dangerous position. So we're going to work on some basic defenses for it and then how to counter or escape from it. Okay. First thing you want to note from this position, I do not want to give him control of my neck or control completely of my shoulders. He can have one shoulder, he can have both. All right. Uh, he's going to be doing a lot of spinning. He's going to be moving a lot. That's okay. We're going to use that to time it. But essentially, there's a couple things you don't want to happen. One, he doesn't get complete control of my neck. And two, he does not get his hook set. All right, that's bad. I don't want him to get his hook set. The way I prevent that is by taking my elbows and putting them just inside my thighs. Okay? Now, anytime his foot were to come in here, I can just bump his foot out with my, with my arm. Okay? So my elbows go right there on the inside of my thighs, and they stay here to protect my head and my neck. I, I'm not going to stay here forever. Okay? This is not something where you just want to clam up and, and wait until the ref pulls the guy off you because he's beating you in the head. you got to move. you got to be active from this position. But essentially, if he's trying to take your back, that's the position you want to go with first. All right, so we're here. Also, another thing. I don't want to just let him freely roam. If he starts to come around, I like to sit on one hip. Okay? So if he goes the other way, I'm going to sit on this hip. This is so if he does bow me over... I can still somewhat recover my guard, or worst case scenario, a half guard, something like that. What I don't want to happen is for him to just have free roam and go around and then set a hook and take my back and continue beating on my head or choking me. So anytime he's coming around me, I like some guys like to post with their hands on the hips and submission grappling, that's not a bad idea. In MMA, I don't suggest it because uh, in the MMA fight, while I'm posting like this, he's punching me like that. So um, I tend to not post with the hands very much. You can do it once or twice. Don't make that a huge habit if you're fighting MMA. Again, submission grappling is fine. But what you do want to do is anytime you're working here and he's trying to get around you, you want to start working on getting down on one hip. All right. Now, the more he comes around here, the more I'm going to go ahead and pull my guard in. All right. So immediately, I'm, I'm not just passively letting him walk around by putting one hip on the floor, forcing him to come into my guard. That brings us into our first way to actively counter the turtle position. One of the ways that you can, that you can get out of this position, because obviously you don't want to be here, uh, a lot of people like to shoot forward, grab uh, this leg, and drive it over into a single leg, which is fine. That's a great option that you have if you can land it. But a lot of times, when you start to touch this leg, he'll sprawl. So now I can't get it. But you do have another option from that. What I want to do is I want to take my head, and I want to look straight up toward the ceiling when this happens. So he sprawls, I look straight up toward the ceiling. Now, I want to try to put my hips directly under his. So from here, I'm going to go straight under him. Okay? And I'm going to come back right into my guard. We're here. I threaten the single leg, he sprawls, head straight up, hips straight up. We're here, I'm going to threaten the single leg when he sprawls, my head goes straight toward the ceiling, my hips go straight under. Notice I'm not going back to a full guard. I don't play full guard very much. Uh, anytime I'm in guard, normally I'm in a butterfly guard or some variation of the guard. I generally don't get right here and sit here like this. To me, this is kind of a wasted guard. So you'll see that when I'm pulling guard from here, I'm actually pulling with one hook already set. Because now I can threaten the elevator, or if worse comes to worse, I can go ahead and set both hooks and be back in the butterfly guard. We're in turtle. I threaten the single leg and sprawls. Shoot my head straight up. Watch the angle of my hips. I'm not trying to lift his entire body weight. I'm just trying to come out to the side of him and bring my hips under him. Okay, all in one motion. Threaten the single leg, lift the hips, and come right under, right back in this position. That's your first way to escape the turtle position. It's a way for you to go straight back into your guard. 